I didn't think I was gonna tell this story, but I'll tell this story. You guys wanna know? I will, I will tell the Praxis 5 story. Do you guys wanna know the Praxis 5 story? It's my very first, it was my my only good placement. And I, I'm i saying like fourth place is like my only good placement. But it was good, this tournament was like kind of stacked. It was a, pretty much if you were in the Midwest, you were like in this tournament. Now granted, you know, it wasn't a giant tournament. It was not a major. It was not like Smash and Splash. It was definitely a step under. Yeah, it was basically a regional, yep. It was like in 2018. So I will break down the bracket. This was a tournament that I went to back in the beginning of 2018, and I was going hard in the paint, bro. I was practicing all the time. I was going ham. This is when I was net playing, and like I was, I was just like, I remember I was like, I was probably a freshman or sophomore in college, and I would come home and I would just immediately like just play PM. Fourth out of 26. And I know that's not a crazy placing, but like, I, I, no one knew who I was. Like that, was, this was like my first time ever like coming here. Um, oh yeah, and technically, here's a funny thing about this, um, this guy got cancelled last year. Uh, this guy, <laughs> LSDX, I think he got cancelled. Um, <laughs> yeah, so does that mean I get third place? If you get cancelled in the community, does that mean I get your placing now? Does that mean your, your placings are void? Do I get third at th this tournament? Okay, so never mind, just shitty joke, shitty joke. I just saw his name in the giant reddit post and I was like damn the first match okay it is game one ah yes I 2 owed this guy I remember this guy so this guy it was um, Ness versus Fox and this guy was not very keen with Project M he was one of those people that like just entered the tournament because he was good in melee and he was like oh I can play PM because I play melee or whatever doesn't always work so this guy picks Fox, and if you guys know what character I pick, I pick Ness. Oh, you played? Wait, Jank was there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I beat Jank, yeah. I'll talk about that. That sets online. That sits on YouTube. Yeah, he was he was pretty surprised. I will say, it was a good fight. It was a valiant fight. He was surprised, though, because he had no idea who I was. Um, but his friends beat me. His friends, Jank, Jank's friends were way better than me. If that makes sense. I, I got whooped by his friends. His friends were like way better. But um, I will go over that in a sec. So game one, it's Ness versus Fox, right? And that, that um, matchup is basically just up throw, right? You're just, you're, you're Ness, right? You, you run, dash, grab, grab, throw him up, do the up air, and then you continue and then up air, you know, th up throw, up air, up air, whatever. You guys know it. You guys have seen it before. And so that's what I do. I, I grab Fox because he has no idea what he's doing. He doesn't know the matchup. This is this is someone who only plays melee. And, you know, he was he was like, I, he had no idea what he was doing. No offense to him, you know. He just, like, didn't know what he was doing. And it was kind of a, a free win for me. Uh, he went wolf after that because he, I don't know why. Like, if you're a melee player, like, I don't know why he would switch off Fox and then try wolf. And the wolf was even worse. I think I, like, four stocked him or something. I have no idea. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's basically what, what happened in that game one. So it was, it was, I was like, GG's man, see ya, peace, bye. Um, so the next guy that I face, was it Jank? Okay, so Jank, this set is online. Okay, so he was playing Ganon. He had like crazy movement. I remember this, yeah. This guy like actually moves very well. So this is the second set. I don't have the first set, but like, I remember I faced like, a lot of his characters. This guy was like a character specialist. He had like a DDD. He had um, he had all these like crazy characters. He plays Bowser. I know Bowser. His his Ganondorf moves like it like he beat me a couple games and it was like I was like dang he's like pretty good. But Ness is normally yeah see this platform movement. I did come through though. This is because the Ganondorf matchup like once you you should basically win when you're Ness. So anyways I do end up taking uh, the set. He, I think he went DDD and this first set, and then the later set he went like Ganon. Oh, this guy. Okay. So I'm not trying to talk. Um, yeah, I think I remember this guy. So <clears throat> this guy right here, I made him rage quit. He played, I don't have this set, but I made him like, he's playing Rob, right? I don't have this set, but this, this next guy who I start playing. I don't mean to shit on him, but 
I made him rage. I 2-0'd him and he played Rob. And I, I don't like that matchup because Rob is like, you know, kind of campy. Just naturally, you know, it's just the way Rob is. And this guy starts kind of camping a little bit with Rob. Um, but I'm still, I'm still hitting the combos. And while we're playing the set, he starts hitting himself. He's like, come on, like he's... I'm not even kidding. He's like hitting himself while he's because he's getting like he'd get down aired by me and then he'd lose a stock and uh, and then he would like start hitting his face uh, like very like you know not like hard but like I'm like what are you doing and then he would just be like Ugh! like I, I'm not even kidding this campy Rob was like getting mad like in real life and I look at my friend because my friends like watching and I'm like you see this shit this guy is and, and, <laughs> and I'm like comboing him. I'm hitting my back airs on him. And like I, I was doing some. I remember I hit a, a neutral B on him. I, I hit like a Ness's. I call it the booger. But you, you guys know what I'm talking about. His neutral B. Really sick move when you hit it. And I hit him with it. And he, he was like almost spiked his controller. Like I'm not even kidding. And uh, you know it was pretty close. I'm not gonna lie. Like there were some moments where I was you know like oh shit. He might, he might beat me. But I, I, I didn't want to like go down one match against a Rob because yeah it, Rob is kind of annoying like it, those were some long matches it was a 2-0 but it was like it was like close call 2-0 and he was he was hitting himself like he was <laughs> and I was like oh my god this guy is getting mad and then uh, I, I thought he was gonna be really mad when he lost but he was like all right GG's and then he just left he just dipped I put him in losers. I, that was also an upset. Someone came up to me. So after I beat him, I beat his Rob, right? And someone came up to me. I had no idea who they were. He was like, who, they're like, who are you? <laughs> they're like, who, who are you? You just beat, you just beat him. He gets top eights regularly in the Midwest. And I was like, I, no idea who he was. I had no idea who he was. I was, I was like just doing my nest thing, you know. I was just, you know, PK fire, <laughs> down throw, you know, back air. You know, yeah, when he did the air dash, yes, yes. So I did hit him when he was doing his air dash. I don't know if you guys know. Rob, when he has, when he recovers, he has like three up Bs. Like he gets like an air dash basically. But if you hit him while he's air dashing, do it like a couple times, he loses his up B. He can only up B three times. If he doesn't touch the ground, well, if he does touch the ground, he gets it back and he can spam those air dashes again. But if he doesn't hit the ground, you can basically like force him to die it's kind of funny so i did that one time and you know it wasn't looking good for him it was not looking good for him i remember one time i down aired him like twice because i knew he was gonna immediately like go for it like I, if i down aired him once he was gonna i down aired him twice and he didn't come back <laughs> i was like I, I, he was like i was happy that i got him at that point because Rob is kind of an annoying matchup. I'm not going to lie. I've lost that matchup before. Because you don't see Rob every day. You don't see Rob every day, for sure. And yeah, someone went up to me and they're like, you, you just took out like someone who regularly gets top 8 at these tournaments. I had no idea. I had no idea, man. So the next person. I believe I get beat at one point. Yes. Okay, this guy is very good. This, this, um... His name is Wild. You guys have maybe heard of him? He 3-0'd me, like, hands down. Like, he destroyed me. This guy's really good. He's a Sonic player. You've heard of him? Yeah, he, um... This guy destroyed me. The the Sonic main, he was way better than me. I could not... And I didn't know the matchup really at all. He was really nice, though. He was cool. He was really cool. I got destroyed. I got 3-0'd. And then they told me I think I was in top 8 at that point. So that's why the sets were longer. Yeah, he's he's really good. He beat me. Just beat me like just straight up. And I, I knew I was going to lose because I think I played him before. I think I played him when I was like... Like I think a year ago I played him. Lumen, what's going on, man? Yeah, he's really good though. He's He just... Like Sonic can do these crazy cancels and like can move around and grab you and... Uh, you, it's hard to know the difference between his down B and side B, and he, he just beat me. He spanked me. He probably still would. I, I think I played him, like, a bunch of times after that, and he was, like, it was hard for me to, to keep up with him. I also think the matchup is kind of hard for Ness, too, but he, no, he was just way better than me. 
So he brings me into losers, right? But I'm st this is still like top eight at this point. And I'm like, whatever, let's go. And so the guy, Jank, from earlier, he, the guy who, uh, he was playing DDD and, um, and Ganon, he's, I, I have to play him again. Now he's, he's back for, for, for vengeance, right? Um, and I'm like, oh shit, you know? And this is the set that's, that's online. Um, this is the set. So he plays Ganon at first, and I believe he was playing Ganon earlier, so this is kind of like, you know, round two, basically. And, uh... He beats me game one, right? He beats me game one, um, but I beat him game two. Like, I basically reverse it on him. I, I figure it out. I figure out the matchup. Um, let's see, back air, PK fire, he misses it, he dies. And then he, he goes uh, Bowser, and I kind of smile a little bit. Low key, <clears throat> this was Bowser before Bowser was like really annoying in P+, right? This is 2018. So this was this was Bowser before he, Project Plus. No one really knew how to fight him. But I did. I knew how to fight Bowser. Because my friend played Bowser. And, uh, yeah, one of my best friends, like, played Bowser. That was his main. And, um, shout out to Jeremy. Yeah, shout out to Jeremy. He's, he's my best friend. He played Bowser. I knew how to fight. I knew the matchup. I know the gimmicks. Because Bowser, back in the day, was kind of just gimmicks. Like, I'm not trying to say that in a bad way. But, like, if you think about it, like, he is he wasn't nearly as close to a, a character as he is today. Think about it. He didn't have the fireball thing? No, he didn't. That was Project Plus. I gave that to him. I, I I'll show you guys what this guy was doing. Because I knew he was trying to... I knew what he... I knew he changed his tactic. Because this guy had many other characters in his vault. You know, to like switch it up on me to try to find a matchup, I don't know. You know, normally I, Bowser loses to Ness too, like pretty hard, you know? So if you're losing that matchup as Ness, I feel like you don't know the matchup. You're, you're falling for Bowser's like gimmicks, but it truly were gimmicks back in the day. Uh, camping the ledge, which is what he does in this match. He do, he camps the ledge, you know? And uh, I would too. It's one of Bowser's strong suits. I mean, I would too. But it's it's what he I realize he starts to do it. So you see, I'm kind of raining down PK fires. Um, you know, Ness Ness has a combo throw on Bowser. That's his down throw. Um, so he's he will eventually go to the ledge. Oh, and I get scared of that shit. I fucking air dodge and I'm like, oh shit, I'm looking forward smash. So he goes, yeah, he starts doing this, and I've seen this a lot. I've seen the good old like okay you know I take up like half the stage I'm gonna I'm gonna camp you type of thing uh, I start to get a little afraid because I'm like down at first so he's he's doing pretty good at just staying on stage and keeping stage control and Bowser has one of the if you guys saw he has one of the best um, get up at, or get up options off stage or on stage his like ledge attack that that little attack that he did right there that's one of the best in the game Bowser has it. And see how it takes up like half the stage? So you, you gotta know like, okay, when Bowser's at the ledge, he has like one of the best options in the game. He has one of the best get up attacks in the game when he's under 100%. When he's over, like I think it's 100%, he doesn't have that option anymore. Um, so I think at this point he would not have it anymore. But he does have other options. Fireball is a huge buff. Yeah, I agree. Fireball is a huge buff. Um, so he starts doing the same thing. I get a down air on him. Get the grabs. Ooh, gotta watch out for that. Now he's kind of he's kind of schmoving. You gotta be honest though, he is schmoving. His Bowser is schmoving. Uh, oh my god, the yo-yo. <laughs> I don't remember that. I forgot about that. Yeah, the yo-yo, the early gimp. So now it's now it's even. Now I'm just I'm like end this now. Ooh, and then oh god, I must have been clenching my fist right there. I missed the down air that probably would have killed it. Uh, it's very close now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how I win this. Oh. Oh, wow, wow, 150 a killed on FOD. 
basically stomp up air. Barely, barely came out on that one. And I think he switched to Ike. And I was a little afraid at first. He switches to Ike, and Ike actually has a winning matchup against Ness. Um, but I actually come through on this, uh, surprisingly. I think he SDs a couple times as Ike. I think he, he, uh, he gets some suicides. I could tell Ike was maybe not his strongest character. Like, he might have been doing it to try to throw me off. And then up air. So, I get him there. Losers semifinals. And then I face this guy, LSDX. This is the match, basically. He is way better than me. Uh, I don't know if you guys know about Snake, but Snake really is like a, a really hard character to face. Especially back in the day, because Snake had one of the craziest combos that would work at like 80%. Um, do you guys know what do you guys know what the combo is? Snake had a combo that will if you're if you're sticky it will kill you at like 80% you really kind of can't do anything about it Yeah, so if you get sticky at 80% all snake has to do is up throw and then maybe up air He really doesn't have to it's just up up throw and then he hit he detonates the c4 and you die That was a kill confirm in 3.6. It was really broken it was really broken. I'm glad it was nerfed. I'm glad it was patched. It was patched out, basically. You could not air dodge your shield. They, they had too much hit stun. You could not do it. You were you were stuck if you were in the combo. This isn't Smash Ultimate. <laughs> this is this was like the best one of the best versions of Snake. Um, this character though, you also another thing that Project Plus changed was they. They gave you couldn't see when you were sticky. So in Smash, or I'm sorry, in Project Plus, um, if you get sticky, it, it shows you a notification that you're sticky. Sometimes you would get sticky and you wouldn't even know you were getting sticky. So that's a big problem. This is like a small CRT, so you, it's like a little dot. You, the game is kind of dark, anyways. Up throw, up air, C4 on fast fallers. Yep, yep. Drinking food knows it. It was it was a snake combo that was just like ran the meta. If you were Snake, that was the combo that you knew. I get some, like I didn't win a single match that, against this guy, but I was like, I had my third eye open. Like I was really trying to beat this guy because I've played him before. Oh yes, yes, he wanted port priority as well, by the way. He wanted port priority. That's how you know you're a, you're a Snake main tryhard, <laughs> is you care about port priority, but yes. Oh, they did fix it? Thank God. This guy was a port priority fiend, bro. I don't know if you guys know, port priority is when uh, Snake's grenades would um, would hurt the opponent if it, if it was if the grenade was like hitting himself and the opponent at the same time. Port priority would allow him to not get hit, basically. So it would give him more combos. It was kind of annoying. Like uh, there, a lot of people had no idea. Like it's such a minute thing in the matchup. Like no one, a lot of people had no idea. Oh, there's this is the combo. See. This is the combo. If you if you face Snake, you know it. Trank, now you're asleep, up, sticky, up throw, you're dead. You can't escape that combo. You see how I'm DI'ing away? I'm like trying my best, I'm like DI'ing away. I'm like, don't get hit, you can't. You're, you're, you're dying. It was such a scummy combo. I It would kill you at 80%. It still is in Project Plus, but it's nerfed. It's, it's more, more balanced in my opinion. Yeah, it, you really couldn't do anything, and I was, dude, I was, like, going ham. Like, this this matchup, like, see how I hit him with the bat? I was like, I know you're coming back on stage, you're gonna miss your getup. Like, I was trying, bro. I was, this was, like, the best I've ever played, I feel like. I, I knew he was gonna miss his getup, because Snake has kind of average getup attacks, I think, at least. I was like, he's either gonna try the trank or miss something, and he did. And I, I got the bat, and I got him. And so I was like... I don't know if you guys know, I faced this guy like multiple times in my region and he always just, he always beat me. This was the one time though I was like, I was getting close. I was like, he's he's actually trying. And then, oh, this is dead. You're dead. Oh, I knew at 80%, like as soon as you get grabbed by him and you're sticky, you're dead. Uh, and then that's all he did. He was basically playing with his food there. That's how the snake matchup was. If it was 80%, you were dying. They did gut him pretty hard. I'm kind of glad they did, to be honest. He was so... Oh, see how I, I knew it was coming. I was thinking, bro. I was trying. This was like the best I've ever played against the snake. Um, I would get close, but like he would always get the upper hand with those like 
dumb combos. Those I I don't mean it like on him, but like just the way Snake was at the time, it was so annoying to play against. Um Got a bat swing on him. I still lost though, even though I'm looking good right now. <laughs> the local snake mains are upset about it. Dude, they deserved it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They their character is still good, it's fine. Snake's still good. He didn't get nerfed that hard. I think we go to Smashville and, you know, it's game set match at that point. He it, it gets close, like I bring him down to the last stock, but then uh but then he beats me. I was schmoovin', bro. This was the best I've ever played. This was like this was honest content at its peak, bro. I was I wanted to win this. This was a lot on the line. I I had no idea I would be like you know it's in top eight of this tournament. I randomly decided to to do for like no reason, you know. And this tournament was like he still beats me even though I have the upper hand at first. You would think I would win. Oh, I was so close, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, this is bogus. <laughs> Look at this, hold on. 64% puts me with the asleep with the trank. Up throw, 74. Up air, 88. I will die now at this percent. I will die from uh from the grenade or the, the sticky. Dead. Dead at 88%. That's some bogus. That's bogus. So now if yeah, basically if I get up to 80, I'm like at kill percent. And you know he uh, he starts to combo me, gets a sticky on me. I'm dead. Die at 82. That's the snake matchup, bro. That's the snake matchup. <laughs> you you just you blink and you're dead. That was the snake matchup back in 3.6, bro. Yeah, put a put a platform stick or put a down B on the or down smash on the platform and then sticky. Oh yeah, dude, it, it was dumb. I I would I feel like I was mentally there. It was close, but not not there enough. Like despite all the memes, it was my best placement. So that was pretty fucked. Yeah, yeah. See how it was, bro. That was the sick matchup, bro. In 3.6, couple grabs, couple combos. You're at 64%. All right, grab up here, dead. Sticky. Bye. It was it was the matchup, bro. It was the way it was.